Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can blur out faces and other objects in Adobe Photoshop. I thought this would be the perfect video for a time like this where there's a lot of protests going on and photographers are taking a lot of pictures. Uh, a lot of people aren't even aware that they're in the photo. I'm going to be making a video about this but for Premiere Pro, so for videos. If you guys want that, make sure to comment below and yeah, if you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here, I got this photo from Unsplash. Um, I just searched up protest, so it's right here. There's a bunch of other ones, but uh, I'm just gonna use this one. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is find the faces that you wanna blur out. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with like this guy, this guy, and this guy, right? Cause they're just in the front. Um, it's gonna be very hard to just blur out everyone. So we're, we're just gonna select a couple of them. So the first thing you wanna do is duplicate um, this layer. The reason you wanna duplicate it is because there's gonna be a blur layer and then there's gonna be a normal layer. Uh, so we're gonna press Control J to duplicate. And now uh, let's just select the faces we want. So we're gonna go one by one. So let's just say we want this guy and all we wanna do is select his face. So there's multiple ways you can select a face. You can use the marquee tools. So like this one, boom, it's selected. You can use the pen tool. You can use the magic wand tool. You can use the quick selection tool. I'll just be using the elliptical marquee tool cause it's just a circle. Um, and it's a little bit easier. So once you selected it on this uh, layer, uh, you wanna make sure that it's first rasterized if it isn't. Um, you'll see this little document thing in the bottom right if it isn't. Now we're gonna go to filter and you have two options here. You can go to blur and Gaussian blur, which will just make it blurred or you can pixelate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the mosaic option and then you can see what that does. The only issue with this method is like the outside of the face is like a hard edge. You can see an, a, a definitive edge. Um, so you can choose to blur out the faces like this. A better way, but it might take longer, is to just blur out the whole image. So we're gonna go to filter mosaic. We're gonna just blur out the whole image or pixelate the whole image. And then you would have to use an eraser tool um, and set it at zero hardness. And we would just erase um, everything but the faces. So I'm just gonna do that right here. So let's just say we wanted those three faces right here. We can blur out everything else. But this might be very inefficient, but it's just for me the best way so that there's a smooth edge on the pixelation and it isn't like a hard edge. And this way I think it's a little bit easier to pixelate multiple faces. Like if there's a big, big crowd, uh, just because you don't have to individually mask out everyone's faces. The problem with this method though is you might not erase everything and so some spots will be left pixelated. But then you just gotta be a little bit more careful. I'm gonna pixelate this guy's face too just because it's already pixelated. So right there, um, you can kind of see what's um, still pixelated by just hiding and unhiding. So the bottom here, still pixelated. The top here, look at this. My Photoshop's gonna crash, wow. So I actually didn't recover that file but that was about the end of the tutorial anyways. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and be careful if you're going to protest. I'm also going to link a video below that you can watch. If you don't have money to donate, all the earnings from that video are going to go towards bail funds and funerals. So I'd make sure to check that out. If you guys enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.